Okay, so let's take a look at how you can use DGraphs package in our language. So basically, this package deals with time series, and here your time series could have this data in numeric values or in DIT, right? So we are going to take a look at both those examples. So first thing, let me open uh, Studio. And there are two packages that I wish to install before we can try the example, right? So let's wait for our studio to load. Now here we have package names. There is also one more package name XDS. So we are going to install that too. So first install dot packages right and within which we are going to add the package name as dgraphs right hopefully it doesn't require code if it does we will try now add it within quotes right so dgraph is the package let's see if it's available okay so it is searching it will install the package Okay, also installing the dependencies zoo and xts so both of those packages installed we will clear the console All right so once cleared what we can do we can write our script so it will open a new window right now here i'm going to type in library and then dgraphs right so this is the dgraphs and next thing will be creating a data right so here we have data dot frame and within that we are going to add our time series so for that what we'll do is we'll basically create a sequence right so 0 20.5 right and we will try and have 40 here right one more thing we will also have to check the value and stop when it reaches 42 right so run if and up to 42 right so we have our time series the next thing that we will be doing is we will take a look at structure of this data right so we have our data right then finally i want to plot this data so what i can do is type in dgraph and inside that i will pass data right and then finally just use p and let's hope for this to run and show some plots in this tab right so first thing we will run code one by one manage to load up our dgraphs library next we'll select this line and let it run our data so here we have our data 42 observation of two variables right so we have our time series data which is numeric in this case is loaded next i want to see the structure and we have our time and values right as you can see that's the structure here and then we need to run this where we have the graph calling our data and then on the next we are going to plot this and here you see our observation once it reaches that particular value right it will just go out till then it will show you the data in typical time series format but here we are making use of uh, sequence right so total observations 42 and list of it right so this is pretty much what we can do when our data is of numeric type so what if my data is let's see numeric type right so what i can do i will just get rid of this i will just keep the data 
sorry library statement next thing I will be writing new data right so what I can do here is can create a data frame right and within that data frame we are going to, to create our time series but this time in sequence we are going from let's see from we are going for sys dot date right so sys dot date minus 40 so 40 days behind then comma we can go to next line if you want to make it easy to read two and then sys dot date and then next is by equals to one and then comma and then we are going to value equals to run if and up to 41 right just like the last time we ran up to 42 so this time let's see if we can run similar observations now i can also check the structure this time with data right now one more thing is we have to think of our xts format for this data considering we are running the date so xts and in that function we will be using x equals to data then dollar sign first we will have to think of value right then we will order it by order dot by right so order by equals to let's say data and dollar sign time right so we have our observations ready now next thing is plotting the graph and then we pass the data next yes then we simply call our plot so first thing we already have library called so no need to run still if you want you can now let's select the data then let it run and here you see 41 observation this time of two variables now let's check the data this time you will see time value date format last time it was numeric so this time it's date format now next thing we'll see data value to data time so run this here in xts x data value or the by could not find function xts okay so this error occurs because we didn't call for library xts right so let's run this by selecting right next we will run this now okay so it run so we have list of it now now what we can do is run this Here you see xts object for date now our plot is also there now let's execute the plot running and we have our plot here you see for this error actually simple issue was calling the library right so we managed to check the graphs for both numeric time data and date time data right you can actually maximize this and here you check from 2nd October all the way to 6th November as you can see we picked that range in our code from system date minus 40 we go back in system date to current date and increment by 1 within our observation right so you get the idea how to get both this numeric data and time series for date as well so when you are dealing with time series you can make use of the graphs package in R